The project site we're on here today has been running now for over 12 months. We did an initial treatment of the tree pear using the mulcher and we're back again today to see the results and to finish off the job. This property here, mulching really was the best way to go. The infestation had really taken over the vegetation. There was no understory left, no grasses, no natives that were really able to compete with it. So mulching is going to knock it down. It's going to provide that mulching layer on the soil, keep that moisture there. And then what we're expecting to see are those grasses coming back, those shrubs coming back, some of these wilga bushes thriving, and also the brigolo and the beautiful bottle trees. They'll also get a good start to go as well. My reasons for having this mulcher as opposed to a chemical solution there's no regrowth. The second reason would be there's no chemicals used at all. It's all just mechanical. If you clear a whole paddock and it's that's fruiting like it is now, then there's unlikely for the birds to come along and eat the fruit and then go over and deposit it on my neighbour's properties. If you were to come along here and spray the whole place, it would take forever. Like you, to go from one end to the other, you'd be back. And by the time you get to that end, you'd have to start again here. I've actually tried the chemical solution here on this block and I found that once the chemical was in the actual tree pear, the tree pear started to die but then it would drop its limbs and wherever the limbs dropped on the ground there'd be another hundred cactus plants come up. Well it's the chemical application of, of grinding down the tree because it's quite high in water content it's easy to mulch but it also allows people to get in to access other areas because in some of the more longer standing tree pear, the only way you could get in physically would be to mulch or possibly a chainsaw. So it allows people not only to control what they've got but also to get in to look at what else is in the area. So removing the tree pear from the landscape, it definitely has benefits if you've got stock grazing in the country. Just looking after the biodiversity, encouraging it back in with the native species returning, you're going to see benefits from that and who doesn't enjoy having the wildlife on their property. The costs really do increase as the infestation increases. So active management is really the way to go to keep it under control. I'd like to thank SQ Landscapes for their funding of this project. And I'd also like to thank Range Rock Supplies for providing the operator and of course the mulcher. To me, the excavator is the only answer for this place. This project is funded by the Queensland Government through the Natural Resource Investment Program. The Queensland Government recognises that it's important to tackle landscape issues at the regional level.